happy Sunday. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Um, super excited. The Jags play today, and we're doing really good. I don't know if we're going to make it through this game, but I really hope we do. I've never been a big football person, but it's kind of exciting when you see your super crappy team doing well. <laughs> so, um, but so what I wanted to talk about today in this video is just um, so I don't know what, what your major is. If you're an animal science major, if you're you know a biology major, if you're whatever, but um, one thing that I've kind of picked up on and I've found to be pretty beneficial for myself is um, extracurricular reading or I don't know really what to call it but kind of going out of my way to learn about other aspects of animal science um, and I have a couple examples with me to show just kind of what I've um, been diving into and what I've started reading and, and kind of what I've done to um, gain knowledge that you maybe won't learn in the classroom but that excuse me that you could potentially talk about in your um, interview so a couple of things that I've started with so this was the first one I started reading this is a huge magazine look how big it is compared to my head um, it's called veterinary practice news and this is just kind of like a just like a I don't know a magazine is dedicated to vets um, and some of these I mean it's kind of funny like there's one thing in here um, they ate what x-ray contest um, just goes and shows like some of the you know funny things that they found in you know stomachs and bowels and things like that um, but just really talks about I don't know kind of very layman terms easy to understand things that are going on in veterinary medicine um, and I've just I don't know I've really liked it even though like to read this is a little bit it's just this is a large magazine um, but so I, I don't know I've just found this to be kind of like fun to read um and then the second thing these are actually I started getting these when I started working um there are different publications this one specifically is quarterly it's AWI it's the um animal animal welfare institute um and I really like this because like I've said before in past videos is that my heart is with animal welfare and reading this is awesome it talks about issues that are going on right now uh where i left off i haven't finished it yet but it just talks about like the last thing i read was that vietnam is going to banish bear bio farms you know and it just talks about things that are going on in the world about animal welfare and it just i don't know it has a lot of maybe not necessarily facts that when you would think about um you know like scientific stuff but it just talks about I guess the the latest topics and, and and what people are concerned about and you know X Y and Z and I've I've really enjoyed reading this I um National Geographic also has a lot of really neat stuff if you're somebody who wants to study exotic animals um, they have a lot of awesome awesome videos and articles and things like that that talk about what's going on in Kenya with elephants and rhinos and you know what's going on in South America with the jaguar epidemic and um, not epidemic, but, um, you know, with them, they're starting to go in extinct, same with cheetahs. Um, and it just kind of gives you, like, a really broad understanding of, like, where we are with issues in the animal kingdom. And that one's kind of nice because it's always a lot easier just to sit there and watch a little, you know, five, ten minute video versus reading an entire publication. But I just, I don't know, I think it's really neat. Um, I know for me personally, one thing that I would love to do is go and... Um, uh, volunteer at an, an elephant orphanage like that would be so cool and it's gonna happen one day it's gonna happen and then this is the other one I have this is um laboratory animal science professional I I don't know I'm sure you could just go online and subscribe to these and just you know and they'll, they'll mail them to you um, I haven't looked through this one yet I just took it out of the plastic um, but it just talks about more of like, you know, what I'm doing right now and, and with my job and what's going on with animal sciences in research settings. Now, I could imagine something like this would be beneficial for somebody who has zero research experience because, like, going into this job, I do nothing. I mean, granted, as an animal care technician, I knew that I was going to be going in there and, 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 
taking care of animals. You know, I, I, I feed horses. I do health checks on horses. I administer medicine on horses, which I'm really starting to fall in love with horses. They're amazing. Um, but we also handle rabbits and turkeys and pigs and all this other crazy stuff. And so it's, it's given me a lot of hands-on experience when it comes to different types of animals. But at the same time, I'm also learning about... I don't know, like random things like why they're studying them, why they choose this animal, you know, to study this instead of this animal. And um, and this magazine could potentially be something that helps you just learn about, you know, different topics. So that way if they say, do you have any research, you know, experience or, you know, or, or whatever they ask you, you could say, I, I've never, you know, worked there, but, you know, I've read up on this. And it shows that you just have some sort of initiative. Um, I think that's a big thing that they really like to see is that you take the initiative and you put yourself out there and you just show like I want to be a vet. Um, obviously that's going to stand out a lot more to people who just kind of do the super basic stuff. You know just oh I shadow a vet at a small animal clinic and I am an animal science major. Like be something that stands out and that's I think that's going to be what helps them like capture the essence of like who you are and your desire to do this what are you doing back there um what are you doing come here you're fall you're gonna fall oop uh oh that break something my wiener dog this is willie say hey willie um anyways and then no get out of this uh, so the last thing that uh, I kind of suggest doing, I think I've mentioned it before in videos, but also finding books to read in regards to, you know, whatever you're really interested in. Um, because I know that one of the big things that they've said over and over and over again is that when you fill out your application, you, you put your purpose statement in there, they're going to ask you a lot of questions about your interest. And so it'd be in your, you know, in your in your best interest to learn about you know that aspect as much as you can um so going out there and finding books that you know talk about i don't know for me sorry all my animals are being crazy right now Bo, stop it uh for me i have you know a big interest in in large animal and i also like the psychology aspect of animals um i don't want to be like an animal psychologist or anything but it just interests me um, I like to know why they act the way they do or or why they react to things or why, you know. And um, so for me, an author that I've, you know, really been heavily, uh, you know, interested in and I've read one of her books so far is Temple Grandin. But there's, there's just a lot out there. Anytime I hear about a book, I try to jot it down and I put it on my wish list. Um, I actually listen to audiobooks versus reading books because I don't have a ton of time to just sit there and read a book, which is sad, but it's reality. So, you know, twice a week I have to drive all the way to Radford for my class, which is a 30-minute drive. So that gives me an hour of good listening time. And I don't know, it's just a, it's just a, a nice time to just kind of sit there. You know, if you're interested in what you're reading, it actually makes the time pass when you're driving, and that's always nice. I, I, uh, I have a subscription to audible.com audible so anyways yeah so that's kind of like uh something i've been thinking about and especially once i received those um two publications i was like that's definitely not a bad idea to have you know some knowledge of at least you know different things that are kind of circulating around the the vet world so anyways i hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and until next time